Hi girls, how are you? Today I'm going to do a review on the True Match Foundation by the brand L'Oreal Paris. Why it got my attention? I saw it by the new product section of the pharmacy and it got my attention because on the display where it was, it had a lot of pictures of different women, of different ethnicities and of different skin tones. So I decided to go to their website to find some information for you guys. And I found out that they have 45 shades. The formula is super hydrating and it provides medium coverage with a natural finish that's so blendable it's like you can tell where your foundation ends and your skin begins. True Match goes beyond matching skin tone to matching skin's undertone. Light to dark and warm, neutral and cool undertones for a true to skin result. I also wanted to share with you guys the price information because I purchased mine at CVS and I paid $11.99 but I know that you guys can buy it at Walmart and it's $8.99. Also I did a research and on their website they're selling it for $10.99 so you guys can choose wherever you guys can um, buy it cheaper. Now let's talk about the packaging. This is how it looks. It's very simple. It's just a glass bottle with a silver cap. It doesn't have a pump and it has the name in the front. It also has the shade and the tone. Mine is in, oh, it also has it on the top of the cap. Mine is in San Beige W5. I decided to purchase two foundations, one in the shade W4 and the other one in the shade W5. I also decided to purchase the infallible matte lock primer because I want to do a wear test with the primer and without the primer. I am also going to be applying the foundation with a brush and with a sponge to see the difference. So that's all the info that I have for you girls. So now let's go and apply it. Okay girls, so the first shade here is in W4. And the second shade is in W5. So I don't know what you guys think, but I think my shade is W5. My thought so far is that the foundation has a very light coverage. But this could also be because, as you guys can see here, the sponge eats a lot of the product. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to apply a second coat with a brush. So yeah guys, now that I applied a second coat, I can see that the foundation has a better coverage. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do this side of my face, but first I'm going to apply the face primer. And I'm going to apply it the same way as I did with the other side. First with the blending sponge and then with the brush. Okay girls, so this is how it looks. It's not dry yet, it's still wet and I still have to set it with powder. But so far it's, this is the time, it's 310 and I want to wear it until the end of the day so that I can give you guys a good review about it. So far, the something that I don't like is that it doesn't have a pump because you cannot manage how much um, you put. It's out of control and I actually made a mess. I spilled some right here on my table. But um, besides that, I really like how it applied. I like how it applied with the sponge and I also like how it applied with the brush. So now I'm just going to wear it for the rest of the day so that I can tell you guys my final thoughts. Welcome to my face. <laughs> Welcome to my face, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how the foundation looks. I don't see a big difference. I don't see that I lost a lot of it. Only right here. Very little. But for six hours, I think that the, that's a good foundation. Um, this side has primer, this side doesn't have primer, but to me they look the same. So, 
I'll let you guys judge. And yeah. So I hope that you guys like the way I did the review. I want to do more videos like this with different products. And yeah. I hope that you guys give me a like if you guys like the video. Subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot to grow my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.